Hello everyone, this is the April 2021 USPA update. So, first off, membership is on the upswing. We've got 37,130 members as of the end of March. Uh, everything's been up a little bit this last month. New members, instructor ratings, uh, all that good stuff. Um, processing times are down, which is also good, about three days. Uh, group membership renewal is in full swing. Got the majority of the folks renewed already. A uh, few are still waiting on some details like copy their waiver or, or other little details that are needed, aircraft maintenance form, stuff like that. Uh, but if you haven't renewed and you're a group member, now's the time to do that. Communications department just finished up the May issue of Parachutist. There's some really good things in that issue. Uh, the second annual non-fatal incident summary done by Ron Bell, our director of safety and training. Uh, there's an article follow-up on safety day. Uh, there's an article on Jumping in Winds by J. Russ from SDC Core. Check that one out. It's a good article. Uh, there's also a piece on Young Chisholm who received her gold medal. Um, there's a little article on that as well. And the new USPA store is up and running. Uh, USPA.org backslash store if you want to check out any um, USPA merchandise that is up and running. Uh, working on getting some more stuff in there, including next month, you'll probably see instructor shirts. USPA is having a 75th anniversary in July. July 10th is the organization's 75th anniversary. That's a pretty awesome milestone. We're working on some cool stuff leading up to that. Competition department. The March 2021 issue of the Skydiver Competition Manual is available online. If you want to go there to our website and download it, you can check that out. Uh, also in the process of redoing the entire SCM into uh, a new double column format which will be a little bit easier to read, kind of the way some of our other manuals are. Uh, the 2021 USPA Nationals planning is underway. Staff has been meeting regularly with the folks at Sky of Arizona, work on promotional stuff for that, so got some good things coming for that one. The FAI World Championships, the Mondial scheduled for August in Siberia, is green light for now. Uh, we're still waiting to hear back from WADA or the FAI if the, that's going to stop it for any reason. But as of right now, the team management is reaching out to the different members of the team to just double check everybody's intention to go. Preliminary registration for that meet is open now, so we're getting all our information together. Uh, working on the judge rating program, big revamp of that coming. Jen Sharp and uh, Steve Hubbard are working on that together. They've gotten together with some subject matter experts and addressing what is not working well in the judge program to really redevelop that into the future. So that's good stuff. Uh, changes to the sim manual are now up online. Changes to the competition manual we mentioned are online. Updated governance manual also went up online. Uh, online, there are now online proficiency cards, which is the last piece of the puzzle that allow instructor rater candidates to earn their ratings completely online. So uh, check on that if you want to see that. We've summarized the member survey data, which is now available in the demographic section of the USPA.org website. That's pretty cool. Thank you to everyone who filled that out. Uh, and later this month, we'll be relaunching the SIS interface, Sisters in Skydiving, uh, make it a little bit easier and faster access to SIS members for anybody who's interested in that. Uh, let's see, working on longer term project, USPA.org is getting a facelift. So working on that right now also, that's another big big thing in the technology area. Government relations, uh, as many of you know, you've probably heard Randy will be retiring next month. So we have a replacement for him who started this month. Uh, his name is Michael Knight, great guy, multi-rated instructor, many, many thousands of jumps, uh, previous DZO. Uh, he is spending a lot of time with Randy this month, getting to know the ropes, uh, and he is going to be a great addition to the team here at USPA. I think he's going to do good stuff. On the accounting side of things, we're currently in the process of our 2020 audit. That covers all four of our entities, uh, USPA, US Team, Team Trust Fund, as well as the Safety Foundation, Skydiving Safety Foundation. Um, and we do an audit every year, so not required but we choose to do one every year. That way, if we do make any errors in accounting, we catch them as quickly as possible. Uh, last month, we received a very generous donation from Georgie and Josephine White. 
uh, to the Teen Trust Fund in the amount of $25,000 in honor of Pat and Alicia Moorhead. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. And everyone on the team thanks you as well. Had a chance to catch up with George and Josephine uh, and speak to them personally and uh, also thank them for their generosity. It really means a lot to everyone on the team. Sport promotion world, very busy this month. Uh, did a safety day video with Dan BC. Uh, there was a USPA Live with Chuck Akers and Jeannie Bartholomew. Uh, USPA Live with Aska Rigger with Shauna Finley. Uh, we did an Instagram contest. We had a hundred, almost 150 submissions into that. Um, we put together the survey information which we've got online and we're going to put that out via email as well. Um, and we're also currently working on a skydiving safety press release that we'll put out hopefully later this month that goes over safety stats for 2020. Uh, and I think that's about what I have. It's been a really busy month here at USPA headquarters, so if you've got any questions, shoot us a line, drop us an email. Love to hear from you, USPA at USPA.org, or you can email directly at abirchtold at USPA.org. Have a great day. Uh, it's warming up in most areas of the, of the U.S., so I think it's going to be a great season. Talk to you guys soon. See ya.